Hi baby dolls, come make lip gloss with me. Okay, so I was uh, requested to do this video and I'm actually so happy because I didn't even think about this. Like I'm always watching other people make lip gloss, but I've never thought, oh my God, Michaela, make a freaking lip gloss video yourself. Like you make it all the time, why don't you just do it? And don't worry, when I'm making it little poochy, we'll get down. But I can't tell her to get down when I'm not doing it yet because it's my little baby. This my little baby. <laughs> her name is Lily. She's my little baby. Okay, but there's been a few smaller lip gloss brands. And I'm still smaller. But, like, they're just starting out that have been asking me questions. And let me tell you something. I'm not no gatekeeper over here. I'm not a gatekeeper. Because I was the girl that was like, oh, my God, I don't know where to start. And I messed up so many times along the way. And... <laughs> It's just like, I don't want someone else to go through that if like I can share my knowledge and wisdom and stuff. So I've tried TVK. I've tried one of those really cheap little like bases that you get off like Wish and Timu and stuff. Never bought it off of that. I bought it off of Amazon, but it was like those types of bases, you know. And I finally have settled on this base, which is Get Puckered by Get Suckered. Okay, Get Suckered actually has their own online app which is perfect because you just make an account and you keep that app on your phone. If you are a lip gloss person, you need to do that. And they sell this, they sell this is for $10, which is an amazing deal in my opinion. And then they have a two pound bag for 50. Come on, this is the base for you. Everybody's like TBK, TBK, TBK. Be different and get this because this is 10 times better than TBK, okay? Just my opinion. Okay, I had TBK for a while. It was good. The price was way too much. I was getting bags smaller than this for the amount I'm paying for this. It was just too much in my opinion. Move on to those cheaper kind of brands, which here's a picture of what I had gotten beforehand. That gloss, that gloss thing made my most pigmented gloss. I hate it because literally all the pigment would fall to the bottom. Now, pigment with me sometimes still falls to the bottom just because sometimes I feel like I put a little too much but literally the gloss would be clear with all the pigment at the bottom I have like no examples to show you because I did not take pictures of that and I was embarrassed to even sell it but like I would post it because it would look okay so one of the issues I had had with was Barbie girl and this is Barbie girl now and as you could tell it's like this but could you imagine it being fully clear and all this pigment just sitting at the bottom I literally used to have to go like this to get it to stay Okay, and that's annoying because it should just naturally stay like this. So with clear glosses, I had made the mistake and I had went and got unrefined coconut oil and would just melt it and put it in my glasses. Do not do that because I had one of my family members had walked up to me. He was like, Kayla, I think there's mold in your glasses. It's like mold in my glasses. What do you mean? Because when you're using unrefined, it makes it smoky like this not totally clear and when it gets cold it hardens again so let me show you what i was using beforehand and what i recommend using now this okay organic coconut oil so i said unrefined i think i meant to say oh no it is unrefined unrefined organic coconut oil it looks like this this is perfect for lip scrubs hun this is perfect for lip scrubs okay this you whip it up perfect okay do not put this in your glasses you need to use liquid coconut oil. I know that this is a bit pricey-ish. To me, if something is like more than like 10, 15 bucks because I am broke, it's pricey, okay? And I'm sure us teenage uh, businesses can understand that. It's like, oh my God, it's a little pricey. But it's really, I mean, it's not that pricey, okay? But this huge thing, mm-hmm. And can I tell you something? I got this for free because I had made an Amazon wish list and someone had kindly had bought this for my business. So make an Amazon wish list. That would be a second thing because it's worth it because random stuff like this will show up to your door every once in a while. Another thing that I have to recommend to you all is when I was first I got everything on Amazon, literally everything, okay, which included glitters like this. Now these are cosmetic safe. So I don't want y'all saying, oh my god, it's not cosmetic safe glitter and you were selling it. No, it's cosmetic safe glitter, okay? But when you put so much of that glitter in there because it, and I know that doesn't look like a chunky glitter, 
it feels so grainy on your lips okay it feels absolutely grainy okay you need to get tbk glitter okay now it's gonna come up as a pigment because technically that's what it is is it's a pigment but all it is is just a white glitter it's just a white glitter so this mm -hmm, you need to invest in tbk pigments i don't care for their gloss base as much as i once did but their pigments are fire and you need to get their pigments don't be getting no amazon pigments don't do it because they're honestly not the best and tbk is where it's at now because i'm talking about tbk pigments let's move on to some pigments i can recommend to you so i have tbk pigments these are the only ones that i have i have four other than that glitter that you saw i have used all of these except this one this one is brand new to me and so is that glitter one i showed you but i have seen other people use that so definitely use that this and this make a pigmented gloss if you are trying to make a pigmented gloss you need white pigment you need white pigment there is no in between of oh but i'm just putting this in my glosses and coming out pigmented you need to put white pigment in you need to do it okay it's just kind of a thing that you need to do this it says pigment red it's just regular red it comes out almost orange it's an orangey red um it's cute but it's a little too orange for me got in amazon pigments like mica powder and i have gotten these and these are cosmetic safe um but i don't really use them um i do use from amazon i use these liquid pigments all the time these liquid pigments are good if you're looking for a sheer gloss okay if you're looking for a sheer gloss with color use that um this has th that pigment in there it uh that pigment i just showed you this brand this brand in the purple that's what this is okay look at when i put it on my lips and by the way this is our passion fruit lip oil okay no color okay no little to no color okay so that's perfect if you're looking for a sheer a sheerness to your gloss okay so some flavorings that i have to recommend over the cheap amazon ones are these you need these flavors okay these are the, some of the best flavors out there in the game for their price do not get these on amazon though get these at walmart they have these at walmart in the baking section so many small businesses use these so i just assume that they're fine and cosmetic safe you know because i've seen so many people use them um they're really good i personally have the big one in mango and black cherry i forgot i had it in black cherry but this and i have it in mango and sometimes they are colored sometimes they're not as you see here they are colored so yeah the mango one is definitely colored in orange another flavoring brand that i have to recommend is get suckered get suckered will not do you wrong this is seven bucks for all this flavor it's seven bucks and this little pack is normally five so this is good if you're looking for something bigger they and i really love get sucker flavoring sometimes they're a hit and miss with some flavors like their sour grape wasn't sour so but yeah i mean if you're looking for just to have a one-stop shop get suckered is it there's some supplies that you will need for making lip gloss that is just bare essentials okay you're going to need some spoons and some plastic bowls this is just easier for me personally because it is so hard to clean lip gloss up now i get being eco-friendly and you could get a bowl and a reusable bowl and a reusable spoon but i've tried that and it's just way too hard and i end up realizing that i don't clean it efficiently enough the other thing you need to have gloves i did not know this in the beginning and i got a lot of hate for not wearing gloves even though that my hands were washed 
you need to make sure that you're wearing at least some type of glove because I could totally understand how you're like factory workers have to do it so you should too type of a thing so definitely 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 wear gloves I never make anything now without wearing gloves never to use these 20 milliliter syringes okay they have them on Amazon almost everything I have said is on Amazon or at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General okay now other than like the tbk and the get suckered stuff you could find that on amazon it's just gonna be more pricey another thing that's important is you will need pipettes that's kind of up to you if you want to get these i personally don't use them anymore i don't hot take i don't use them anymore but that's because my syringes fill up my tubes perfectly fine but if your syringe doesn't touch the bottom i do recommend using a pipette what I recommend is if you can't afford to buy tubes all at once with everything else and you just want to start with the lip gloss making process i take mason jars and i fill it up with lip gloss now this will only ever be used for our chocolate cake gloss which will be coming out so soon and i'm so excited to bring this to light but i recommend getting a mason jar or some type of reusable container to put your glosses in so that way you can make glosses without having to have tubes but also the same thing could be said if you have tubes but can't afford the gloss base me personally i almost always have gloss base but no tubes but i have so many boxes of tubes and i have even more tubes coming so i feel like now i'm gonna be out of gloss base so the minute i get money I'm getting more gloss base okay so obviously as you saw my dog had jumped on my desk uh, beforehand my beautiful vanity and uh, don't mind the mess in my room well i guess it's not that bad but my dog had jumped up here and so obviously i need to clean this off but it doesn't really matter if you have a pet or not you need to be cleaning off your workspace before you work on it and i do recommend that if you can't get to the time like if you're rushing and just don't have the time to just wipe it down which i mean if you don't have the time i don't know what you're doing then making product but i guess but i guess if you have like a show or something in the next few hours like a fair show pop up and you need to make product quick i would recommend you get a placemat which i have placemats over there but because i wiped this down i'm not going to put a placemat down another thing put your hair up Put your hair up and make sure it'll sit out of your face. Get this from a small business, Barbie's Boutique. This cute little scrunchie. You know, we support small businesses around here, not just our own. So if you have a small business, leave it down in the comments below so I can check it out. Okay, I think that's all I need. I think that's all I need and want. What we will be making is our Pini Colada lip oil, which was just decided by you guys on my Instagram. So if you guys want to be in the like what's going to be on my shop, you all need to go to my Instagram, princess underscore cosmetics underscore 17. Sorry, I just changed it to that. So if that, but it's princess cosmetics, find me under princess cosmetics 17 on Instagram and on Tiki Talk. Your gloss. And I just, I love this consistency of gloss. Like, look at that. That's just gorgeous. I just find this so freaking, uh. So we have that much gloss base in there. It's not a lot, honestly, but it will do. And we, because I want this gloss to just be a clear gloss, I'm only going to be using this coconut oil, which is 100% totally fine. You don't have to put a bunch of oils into your glosses if you don't want to, but I do recommend putting different oils into your glosses just because this is a clear I'm not going to. Okay, so we're just going to be mixing up our gloss. I wish I had a way to like show you guys what was going on. Like I don't have one of those things. Um, but right now your glosses are gonna kind of look chunky like this because not all your oils are mixed in yet. You want to mix in it until it looks nice and smooth again.
reference this is too thick that's way too thick you need to add more oil like that to your formula because you want it to still be thick but you want it to be kind of runny is the word that a lot of people use is runny i don't necessarily like my gloss super runny i like it at a good medium to where it's lightweight i love a lightweight gloss those in now we're at this kind of clumpy consistency you need to make sure that you mix 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 until that all goes away most perfect it honestly is pretty perfect it's just a little tad too runny so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my flavorings now and i'll see how runny that makes it and then i might add just a tiny bit more base I literally wish you guys were here and you guys could smell this. This pineapple flavoring, fire, fire. And mixed with this coconut, I just know it's gonna be so good. I just know it's going to be amazing. Like, I love when I can smell my glosses right away. Like, that just tells me that the gloss is going to be amazing. It's like a candy, I swear to God. I'm not lying, it smells like a candy. I'm just gonna put in the tiniest bit of base just to kind of thicken her up a bit. Like, look at this. Nice and thick, yet runny. Nice and thick, yet runny. I'm in love with that. I'm in love. Because it's Pini Colada, I am going to add a little bit of yellow glitter just to kind of add that little sparkle and shine. Okay, so the color of our gloss looks like this. It's a clear gloss with yellow glitter. And I'm loving it so much with this glitter crazy so cute bro and now because i just like to have my glosses sit for a few days to get air bubbles out and also to make sure that none of the pigment does drop to the bottom because that's going to be embarrassing when that happens and you already have the stopper in and everything and now you have to damage everything out that's going to be embarrassing especially when you can just fix it put it in something okay so i'm putting it in this clean mason jar now that we've taken all the gloss paste that we can out we take our gloves off and we put it in here and this goes in the garbage and this goes right on top and what i do is i like to take a sharpie and i like to write what it is so that way i don't go oh huh mysterious yellow gloss what is it okay guys well thank you so much for watching this video I hope that it was very helpful to all you girlies who are trying to start a lip gloss business. I actually found it pretty helpful just getting to kind of do it again, you know. And I think this video was very educational and informative. So I hope that you guys liked it. And thanks for watching. Bye!